Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. I'm going to be reviewing three products that I think are essential for making a good pie, whether that's apple, pudding pie, any type of pie that you're going to make. This, you, these are important to have. So we're going to separate this out. I'm going to show you everything that's in front of you right here. We're going to go over each one in, individually. Then I'm going to show you uh, how I use these to make a pie. So here's the first essential product. This is a USA Pan brand bakeware aluminized steel pie pan, nine inches. So this is a steel base that has an aluminized plating on there. And then on top of that, it has a AmeriCoat, a silicone that is PTFE, PFOA, and BPA free. So there's a little bit of a magnetic attraction on here, but not much. I have a calibrated magnet. So below that aluminum and that silicone is a steel layer. And the composite layer is important because that's what's going to allow this to keep the heat properly and have it very evenly distributed. There's also ridges on here, if you look closely, and they're not just a simple ridge. They're a, they're a, a unique step function. Uh, it's, not, it's not equal. They're not just equal little peaks. One peak is longer and not as high, and then it drops more abruptly. And that's what's patented on here. And this brand USA Pan is one of the uh, largest commercial company. It's a family-owned uh, business, and they've been manufacturing high-quality bakeware in the USA for over 50 years. They're the top seller of commercial pans in the US. So that those little ridges uh, facilitate air circulation, and that allows some air to go under the pie crust as it's cooking, forming a slight barrier and prevent burning. And this company is uh, impressive. They use 65% recycled steel and this does have a limited lifetime warranty on the pan itself. I also wanted to show the reverse side of this pan. You can see that pattern in there, those ridges I was talking about, and how it's rolled on the end. And it's also very thick. And this is a heavy pan, so you know you're getting a good value. Um, let's just check out the weight of this. And ounces, I'm curious. So it's showing that it is 12 point, I can't see the display, 12.96 ounces. Almost 13 ounces this pan is. So that's pretty heavy and solid. The next product is Spectrum brand shortening, 100% vegetable, it's organic, 24 ounces. It's 100% mechanically pressed organic palm fruit oil. 24 ounce with zero grams of trans fat. So why is this important? Well, a lot of people use butter for their crust and it's delicious, but it's not the healthiest thing. But this acts like the old fashioned lard that people used to use in their breads and crusts, but it's not lard. There's no saturated fat in this and it's uh, slightly lower calories than butter. But the important thing is that it has um, 12 grams of fat but only a small amount, six grams of saturated fat and no trans fats. And polyunsaturated is one gram and monosaturated is five grams. There's no cholesterol, no sodium. So it doesn't add anything bad to your crust. What I like to do is put 50% this spectrum and 50% butter or 50% smart balance. But butter mixed with this is a good compromise where you get the butter flavor and it becomes, you know, a little healthier. But this just works great. Also for making pizzas, this is the thing you want to put on your pan along with cornmeal because this just gives it that lard texture and taste to the crust that you're not going to get unless you use lard. And in today's healthy, conscious people, we want to use something a little healthier. So that's the second thing to making a great pie. So I just wanted to show what this product looks like. You can see it's a beautiful color. It's not white. It's kind of like, it looks like, almost like a vanilla ice cream. But if you look at the texture of it, it's just very unique. 
um, kind of like a very soft butter. Um, but the properties that it has is unique because it's got that lard-like quality that's going to improve anything you bake bake with or use in the pan that you're baking with. This is pretty amazing. And now the third thing is the uh, pie weights, the ceramic 1.2 pounds and the silicone pie crust crust protector that is just for 9 to 11 inch pans. So you can use this on your tarts, your pizza, your pie crust. It's just going to allow you to not burn the crust on there in this high temperature silicone. Now these are ceramic balls as opposed to using, uh, some people use dry beans, but the dry beans will start to get lighter and lighter. This is consistently going to be heavy. We're going to we're going to weigh this in a second, but these are really neat. They're uh, going to not only they're going to push down on your crust when it's cooking and baking, but they're also going to have heat. That heat is going to rise and it's going to help to cook the outer part of the crust. This part right here, because the heat is going to rise and help to cook that. So this goes obviously around the crust just like that and just provides that little bit of temperature blocking because the heat rises and curls around because of the shape of the crust and it tends to burn it. So this is gonna eliminate that problem. Now these uh, ceramic pie weights, they're food safe. They're natural ceramic stoneware. Um, so again, you can use them for L type of bacon that you wanna prevent buckling. And we're gonna show, we're gonna put that here and we're gonna put some parchment paper on the uh, crust and then we're going to put those stones on there and this is bpa free silicone and it's food grade silicone is heat resistant to 445 degrees and it's oven and dishwasher safe and uh, it'll work for many pie pan from nine inches to almost 12 inches and you want to check your crust 10 minutes before the pie is done. Remove shield if crust needs additional browning. Replace shield if crust is brown enough. This company provides 100% satisfaction guarantee. Uh, just contact them on Amazon and you can get a refund or full replacement. Now let's just take a look at these uh, ceramic balls. I'm just curious if we're going to weigh them. I'm going to... Uh, Put them on a scale here. Let's uh, zero out the scale first. Let's hit the tear weight right there. And let's put these in there. They almost look like white chocolate candies. So it's 20.2 ounces. So it's even heavier than they're specifying. They're specifying 1.2 pounds, so that'll be about 17, 18 ounces. So it's 20.2 ounces. So let me just move this so you can actually see the number right there. 20.22. There you go, 20.22. So that's a lot of weight. There are other ones on sale on Amazon that aren't that heavy. And that's nice because that's gonna push down on your crust. This product also comes with a little nice little cotton holder with a pull rope on there and you can keep these in there uh, between uses once they're dried. This works really nice. Okay, I'm going to be processing my dough. I have two pieces that are about 12 ounces each and one of the products that I'm going to have a link for is the Chef Fast kitchen accessory. This is their silicone pad that comes with two roll wheels and this is also excellent for rolling out the dough to get it to 12 inches diameter. Okay so I have the dough, the first layer, and I'm going to put some air release holes in there. And we're going to blind bake this, but first we're going to put a piece of parchment paper that's a cut to 12 inch diameter. And you want to cut these little slots in there so that it's more easy for it to conform 
to the edges of the dough, as you can see right there. Now we're going to add the ceramic walls in there. And we're going to distribute them around, just like that, evenly. And push down, pat it down, just like that. Then we're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees. So while that's baking, I rolled out the second layer of the dough, the crust, which is for the top of the pie. So you want to bake it for about 15 minutes. So here it is, after 15 minutes of cooking, we're going to empty out the ceramic beads and cook, cook it without the parchment paper and the beads for another five minutes. So a large stainless steel bowl works great for pouring them out so you don't drop them or burn yourself. Now we're going to put the crust back in for about another five minutes. So there's the pie crust after that additional five minutes. Now I have uh, the apple mixture and berries that I'm going to add. So there it's on the top. Now we're going to put the top crust layer. So there's the crust and that pattern is simply done by pushing the dough out like that and putting your thumb this way. And I have a little piece of dough in the center and I cut little slots in there and I have a little sugar on top of it. Now we're going to bake it now in the oven. Now we're not going to use the silicone protectors until we see this matching the color of that and that's when we need to protect it from further browning. So it was at the point where the outer crust was starting to get darker than the center crust. So that's when I put on the silicone heat shield. And now it's taken out of the oven and you can see how beautiful it came out. This is cooked perfectly and the crust has been protected from the silicone shield and it's just absolutely flawless pie. So there you have it. Those are the three or four products that you're going to need I feel to make a perfect pie. So I have the links to all of these products in the description and the comment section. So what's my overall opinion about these products that I just reviewed? The organic all vegetable shortening and the pie weights with the silicone shield and the USA pan heavy duty nine inch baking pie pan. I love all these products and I think they're essential to making a good pie. I'm gonna give all three of these products a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert to new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.